we can reach extraordinary mental states. And you don't need marijuana or THC, you don't need cocaine or heroin, you don't need drugs or alcohol to get there. You can get there by yourself every morning. If you do this first thing in the morning before you do anything else, you can reach extraordinary mental states. And then you have contact with all the creativity of the universe. During the pandemic, during the the financial crash, during periods of so social isolation. Like I just talked to a friend of mine a couple of days ago and he's really suffering from, from the lack of touch. He is single, he is not with anybody, he doesn't have any kids and is really suffering from a lack of this acute longing for physical touch. And I can tell you that when you are every day letting go of the local mind and blending your consciousness, ascending again to that non-local self that you truly are, you have no shortage of love in your life. In fact, you have so much love pouring down from that non-local reality field that it's actually hard to know where to put it all. It produces an explosion of creativity in your life. I'm working on three books at the same time right now. I don't quite know which one to finish first. <laughs> and they're all they're all remarkable. I mean, like one of them is a, is a book where I just go into, into that non-local reality field in the mornings, and then I just turn on a recorder and start speaking from that non-local place. Now, this book, I don't know if I could ever publish because it's so different from um, the science books I'm known for that it's just sitting there in my computer. And it's called Living as Yourself. Because living, many, most people are living under the illusion that they're their local reality. They live mistakenly thinking that local reality is all it is, and it is actual objective reality. And in fact, it's no more than a veneer on real reality. Real reality is vibrational reality. Real reality is energy. Real reality is the space we're in when we tune to non-local mind. And this local reality we live in and which traps our sense of self is just a very temporary shifting phenomenon. The thing you're worried about today is not the thing you'll be worried about tomorrow. And the threat that your ancestor faced on Tuesday was different from the one he faced on Monday. So we're just, our attention is captured by local reality. And it is so worth making that hour in the morning to tune to non-local reality, you then, then download all these remarkable things. And that's who you are. As you're able to live as a local reality that is incarnating non-local reality, your whole perspective changes. If you live as non-local reality, temporarily inhabiting a local body and mind, your entire perspective on life is different. And that's where you get to when you elevate your consciousness deliberately in the morning to these non-local states.